I saw Gallagher. And then you stole his outfit. I, I stole his, I seriously do look like <laughs> You look like a lot, of, you're an homage to a lot of people. Lizzie, you already dress like a mime. You can't have it. another thing. This has benefits. <laughs> I can turn a studio apartment into an eight bedroom. <laughs> just like this. She's my rock star character. Oh, the rock star right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just like, you rocked it. Guys, you rocked it today. You're a rock star. Hey guys, welcome to Annie Wood episode. 58. 58. It seems like we've done more and less all at once. It's been so exciting, guys. I want you to click that bell. We'll tell you why in a second. Click the bell, like, subscribe, comment. We have a great episode for you. We had a great one last week and we fished our wish. I don't want to talk about it too much, but pressed with suh in the front is what happened to us, okay? So go watch that video. We fished our wish. We really... Didn't mean to. So go watch that episode and watch all of our vlogs. We love you guys so you much. You know something special about the 58th episode as well? What? 58 is where we left off from the inspiration. Oh, so guys, we've, we're back at square one. <laughs> we're about to beat Mean Inspiration, my own other podcast. Also, go back and watch those. Um, they were very cute and very charming. But things are going great here in Anywood. We love you guys. We, we are so grateful for you. We have been, had such a wonderful time so far this year with you. Um, I am on the road. I am going to be um, this weekend in Houston. So get your tickets for that. Um, I'm bringing my friend Bobby. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the Houston Improv that is this weekend. And then you can see me in Edmonton, January 12th and 13th. I'm going to be in Denver, February 16th and 17th. I'm also going to have Annie Wood and Friends. Oh, gosh, I always do this out of order. Um, Thursday, December 21st, Tim Dillon has been added. So it's Tim Dillon, Bobby Lee, uh, Johnny Pemberton and Josh Potter, and maybe another special guest. So get your tickets to Annie Wood this th next Thursday, December 21st. Then the next Annie Wood is February 20th. There's actually one on January that my manager didn't put in this. So there's one in January, January 20 something. Go to my website for that. Um, also, I'll be in Vancouver in February, Fort Worth, Texas in March, Albuquerque, New Mexico. You guys, I'm coming back to Santa Fe, to Albuquerque. Come to me, New Mexico. That's March um, 8th and 9th. I'm then going to be in Washington, D.C. at the end of March. May, I'm going to be doing the Netflix uh, Festival here in Los Angeles. And we moved Jacksonville to June. Most of these dates are up. Some of them aren't. But go to AnnieWilletterman.com slash shows to get your tickets. And again, watch last week's episode and please click the bell. Sometimes things happen and they squish us. So we don't want to be squished. And this is a beautiful, wonderful episode with my girl, Lizzie Cooperman. Please enjoy. Welcome to Annie Wood. Do all the guests have to take their top off? <laughs> anyway, and okay. welcome to Annie Wood, guys. Uh, we have Lizzie Cooperman here. She's being very, very difficult. She's oh not goodness. doing anything I ask her to do. It's my distinct pleasure to be here at Petco today. You know her from <laughs> the local Petco. She doesn't have an animal, which is shocking. I don't know why she's always hanging out there. It's very creepy. I'm surrounded by animals. She likes to watch the, the dog training. You know her from, what's your podcast called? Lizzie Cooperman's in your hands. But Lizzie I, I, Cooperman's in your hands. No, it's okay. okay it's archived. Okay. It's archived. I, I, I request it coming back. She said it ruined her <laughs> life. I I say for the people, we ruin our lives. I say it's selfish of you. I to need to get life. back in. I need to jump back into that. Because I said I was going to bring it back. But it, the podcast, I basically crowdsourced my life for a year. Every week, the listeners would vote on what I did. I ended up like working at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> They voted for me to work there on Black Friday, and I just stayed. But did they say Victoria's stay? Secret. I was employed. Do you know when I left? I was associate of the month. <laughs> but I told them all my name was Elizabeth, which is my, you know, it's not a full lie. I told them I was a ghost writer so that they wouldn't like. And that's not a lie. Know. You're only a ghost. Yeah. She like never ghost. writes. <laughs> Wait, okay. So Lizzie and okay. I have. Yes. Done some mm. road gigs together. Yes. It's been very, very fun. We're going to pick at the end of the show. We're going to pick some of the road gigs that I'm going on. We're going to pick a show to mm. do together. So stay tuned for that. And you'll have to come see us together. Oh, we have quite a chemistry. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. Mm. There's been some road <laughs> tales. Um, when we were in Denver, Colorado. Tales. Yes. Do you want to say what happened at the Caribou? I, oh, yes. I went to use the bathroom at Caribou Coffee. 
And much unbeknownst to me, the door locked from the outside. <laughs> somehow. It's called Caribou. And then they're just filming you pee. <laughs> you can't get out. I could have used a Caribou to like knock its horns to fucking open. I was like banging on the door. I had to face, I had to go live to get your attention. I was busy. Well, Lizzie does morning pages. Yes, every she, morning. Lizzie's an, uh, of the way of the artist. If Mr. You guys, Jean, yeah. If you guys don't know, there's a book called The Artist Way that helps you through writer's block, creative, creativity blocks. Yes. And just keeps your juices flowing. Yes. And Lizzie is an avid morning page writer. So it's, you you wake up and you do three pages where you, it's three pages or 30 minutes. Three pages, but not full pages, just front, back, front. Okay. And it should be garbage. It's just getting trash out of your head. Yes, exactly. It's not to be read again or looked at. And then handing it to a stranger. (laughs) (laughs) That's the only way you can get out is if you like of the bathroom is if you slide it under the door. So we Um, were doing our morning pages and I, I have to say, usually I can't write with someone else there, but I could do it next to you. For it's a little, sense. I don't know. I felt attacked just now. Really? No, not at all. No, I meant I, you were the yes. one person that I felt like I, I was able to kind of dump your shit onto a page next to yeah, it. I love that. I felt comfortable. But so you got me into it and with my ADD, I hyper-focused into it. And then it was like, I have no time. And but while I'm saying this, I don't really remember. I probably was talking to a homeless person with two teeth that was sitting next to me. I probably was like just chatting with someone, honestly. But I was not aware. I mean, I, I, time was not in my mind. So I, I think at one point I was like, where is Lizzie? It's been 45 minutes. And then finally there was a live on my Instagram. No one. People just probably thought I was just taking a huge dump <laughs> in their face. Oh, my God. What if that, that was actually the reality of the situation? Yeah, I was in there forever. I had to bang to get out. You rescued me, though. Oh, my God. You guys. Someone just texted me. They said, you met me at the Caribou. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> you fell for that? Wow, Lizzie. No, Lizzie please. and I are connected, so that's why she Wait, believed that. Do you know what I thought you were going to say when you were like, remember Denver? I thought you were going to go, I found a clump of hair in your bag. Okay. So. Lizzie. Okay. Annie. Lizzie wanted to do a beehive for a second. This was my, my idea was, I was like, okay, we're back. You know how also after the pandemic it was like, I need to come back into the world. I need to like. Reinvented. Assume. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be, do half beehive. <laughs> it's like, and, you're like, I need to come and- back looking <laughs> as crazy as I went over the pandemic. <laughs> Lizzie lived in a tent inside her house. There's a lot of things we need to talk I about. I did. I lived in a, yeah. I lived in a bubble inside my, my apartment during COVID. Because I saw a cockroach. Did I tell you about that? There was, That's there, why? I, there, were, there were animals everywhere. There was a giant peacock living on my balcony for all of. I got a call from Lizzie once she was in her car. She said, I can't leave my car. There's, was it a peacock outside your car? What was it? <laughs> There's, this is so much information. It's like a llama. I feel like I'm having a fever dream about myself right now. I'm I know. Maybe like, we're unloading too caribou, fast. Peacocks, tents, cockroaches. Is the cockroach, I think I, maybe I overreacted to that, but I was like, I do not want to sleep because I read that they can crawl into your ear and, and give birth there. You don't want to be like, have a home birth inside your head. <laughs> you don't want to be a doula to a cockroach. I think that's really disrespectful. But this was also like an apartment that I was like, this isn't of my, fr-. it was my, my, a nice apartment that I was excited that I had moved into before and everything then immediately got not. shut down. Yeah. And then immediately co- Saw the cockroach and my friend Marianne was like, Lizzie, she goes, you're not, I wasn't sleeping. So I was like, is that one? Like any yeah. shadow. Um, Where did you read <sighs> that fact about cockroaches? Oh, the research, the, the, the but did level, you see the depth and of then research I did on okay. like, am I in danger? <laughs> so I do the opposite. I do, I blind eye. I was actually talking to my friend today about how I don't care if there's a hair in my food. Like if I'm with you and you go, there's a hair in my food, you have actually brought a problem to my attention mm. that I don't care about. I will eat a hair. The hair is not the problem. It's the awareness. Good to of, know. <laughs> it's the okay. awareness of the hair. Do you know what I mean? So I, there are things Wait, I like to say. It's the awareness of the hair. That's it's the good... awareness of the hair. It's a pube. I don't, mm. I, listen, if I swallow a pube and I don't know, I don't, it's not about the pube. Well, but you awareness. did have a reaction to the hair that you found in my bag. Okay. Because <laughs> it's not reaching through. Okay. Reaching through Lizzie's bag is you don't know what's going to happen. It's like I thought I was right. in an old western. There was a tumbleweed floating by. It, it was a ch- it was a clump of her own hair because her hairstylist 
had told her if she wants to do a beehive to collect her hair, which is like literally a mentally ill thing. My hairstylist who no longer wor will work with me because, because I talk, uh, because of a joke. Yes, okay. But. Which I think sometimes in comedy, you have to make a choice. Yeah. Friend or joke. Right, right. And that's I sacrificed, why I, yeah. yeah. But would you be mad if I did a joke about you? If I was like, my friend has this clump of hair in her fucking bag. <laughs> I would be honored, actually. I seriously would. But she told me, she was like, just start collecting out of your hairbrush. So I'd be pulling it and putting it in a plastic That's bag. That's not a person that has your best interest at heart. She's like, I want this person to never get laid. I want her to be institutionalized. Lizzie, you already dress like a mime. You can't have it. another thing. This has benefits. <laughs> I can turn a studio apartment into an eight-bedroom. Just like this. Do you think there are any mimes who are anorexic? Like they just pretend to eat. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a great like, diet. Yeah. Mimes, yeah, mimes really have it made. They can just oh have whatever they want. Yeah, but then they might also pretend to take Ozempic and then it doesn't cancel out. Oh. <laughs> and they're just every sexual act is just a weird every like air banging. That is so like they, the, they, the they person's give... there and you're just next to them. <laughs> Beautiful, oh. actually. But so, okay, so she was locked in the, that's one of the stories. There was the clump of hair. <laughs> that's one of the What happened can this we, time? Can was we there go back happened? to the cockroach quickly? Okay, yes. Have you ever had one? A cockroach yes. give birth? Ever see one in your space? Be honest. Because I, I feel like I have a lot of cockroaches. I lived in New York. And we have lizards. Oh my yeah, god, that's so I, true. You would probably welcome them. I'm roaches shocked are there's all not babies. We can I'm just get another shocked tank. There's not a real roach motel here. Well, Lizzie, we actually were watching a video of this guy. I was I was hating on him so hard in the beginning. Today it came on YouTube. Or did you put it on on purpose, Todd? Who? The ant thing. The comedian? Oh, yeah, ant? no. <laughs> uh, ant Canada? There's this guy, Ant Canada. Wait, remember Ant who hosted Last Comic Standing? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, just continue. What's he up to? He's probably like no got idea. a Vegas residency or something. I bet you he's doing something wild. I bet you he's doing something okay, wild. Okay, okay. You don't think so? I don't know. I feel like we would be seeing that, you right? You think he burrowed into a... I feel like he's just not in, at all on my radar. But for some reason, he just... Now he's back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see him everywhere. He's going to be in our algorithm. Let's... The show we decide to do, let's ask him to MC. <laughs> yes. And... Oh, that's so he disrespectful. so mad. I feel like I had no comps. <laughs> Is it okay? Oh, Wait, they're not going to know. Oh, yeah, like, Is it okay yeah. to be a... No, okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. so we're watching this video yes. and it's of this guy who's like, I just got this. He's like, I collect ants. And I'm like, you collect ants? Are you kidding me? It's pathetic. Okay. I was, I know you have something to say. <laughs> and I am a reptile owner now. Okay. Yes. But I went, this is ridiculous, okay? And then he's showing us, like, the new enclosure and all these things. And then he, like, actually, like, lets the ants out, and they're finding their way in. And he starts explaining, like, what's happening and how the ants go, like, into this new enclosure. They've never been into a real enclosure. They've only lived their whole lives in this little, like, transitional nest. No, do they have eyes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're I don't know. Maybe just, it doesn't look like there's room on that body for eyes. But for our eyes to see. Speaking Ooh, of four right. eyes. Okay. <laughs> um, for you to talk. Have you ever seen what a have you ever seen what an ant looks like up close? Show no. us. That's pretty scary. I would I'll show love you. to Hold see this actually. But they the way that they work together is so funny. And it's like, so there's the one queen ant, and then there's all these little guys that are like working around for her. And so when there's introduced to like a new place, look, these are eyes you're never <gasps> gonna forget. Wow. Wait, I kind of love the underbite there. Looks like Randy. Why does everything look like Randy? Annie. Are you haunted? It actually looks like someone, but I don't. I, yeah. Say who it is, I'm going to bleep it. <laughs> so these ants are exploring Ooh, these new worlds for the nice. first time. And like a few go out to to like sacrifice themselves in case it's like dangerous, but to make sure it's okay for the rest of the ants to come. And then the enclosure that the guy made, he put a little honey. So the ants that go explore over there, they soak up, fill themselves with the honey, they bring it back and they give it to everyone. They go give all the other ants, they like suckle the honey into the other ants. And the queen needs a, they need it for their journey. 
And then they all go out. And then a few are like, no, we think it's better in here. And they have to go back and get them. And it's like, have you worked with people before? There's always the one that's like, we're better in this little square. Let's make the entire group have to go back to the square. So they're slurping the liquid and then spewing it into the other ones. They're like making out. There is a sex move. I've never done it. It's called the snowball. Did you do it with (laughs) Ant? That that sounds similar. We call it the ant snowball. It's a snowballing. So you have had a, you did have a CR. I don't even want to say it, but you've seen what, so you lived in New York. You saw the. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. CR. I was like, what are we talking about? (laughs) I was like uh, racking my brain. I'm like, uh, critical reaction. um, Constant. I think I saw it as a reflection of self. And then I had a peacock on my balcony that one morning, just at 9 a.m., like plopped. I heard a plopping sound outside. <laughs> and then our life is never the same. I couldn't, you know how like during COVID, people were getting stuff delivered, people would be like, I'm so sorry, I can't, I can't get past. What if it was actually a stork bringing you a baby, but it was, <laughs> but it was a roach baby to have in your ear, <laughs> from your ear? <laughs> uh, so- <laughs> it plopped. I'm like, that could have been like a, Annie. she can usually follow my plopping. train of thought. I, I know. I didn't follow it. It's I'm fine. so sorry. Say it again, no. please. No. And no, keep I it won't. in. <laughs> I won't. Edit that out. Okay. So, Lizzie, we thank you so much for coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> Annie. This has been so such that... a delight. Um, you guys, this has been Annie Wood. <laughs> we'll do a solo for the rest of the show. Annie. It's just me trying to do that joke by myself over and over again. Can I just think I was thinking about on the way over here that I love about traveling with you? This this actually sounds very creepy. I like watching you get ready because <laughs> you spread your stuff out. <laughs> you do like a very womanly, pro- you have a very womanly process. That I don't have that. And Wait, first, are you talking about my makeup and stuff? Yes. The first time I saw it when we were in Denver and you were like on speakerphone, I think you were talking to Bonnie, Bonnie Lee. <laughs> <laughs> we're saying. And you had, <laughs> what if Bonnie you, married Bobby Lee instead of Rich Voss? <laughs> And you had all your stuff spread out and you were just like, "Uh uh-huh. So anyway, and you had a routine, you had a thing. Whereas I'm just like, where's my eyelash curler? No, no, no. It's only out because I have to sift through it. These pubes aren't going to curl themselves. (laughs) I'm like, and why are they in my salad? Um, If you want, I'm just saying, if you want to put a pube in someone's food, I'm the one. But okay, no, I I just have to put it all yeah. out to find the things because I have so many parts. Uh, okay, okay, but I do love but doing love my makeup. That. Yeah, I've always loved doing my makeup since I was always like late to school in high school because I was doing my makeup. Mm-hmm. I d- I've done my makeup since I was allowed to have makeup. When I was twelve, uh, we went to the I used to go to the Willow Grove Mall. My mom would drop me off with shoplift um, until we got caught, and then I stopped shoplifting. So it was so embarrassing. I was so embarrassed. Wait, what store did you get? Caught it. Bloomingdale's. We went, we wow. got too cocky. We took some sunglasses. Yeah. You and I went to Bloomingdale's together once. Do you remember you helped me pick out a dress or something? Yeah, I do remember that. What was that for? I remember that. Yeah. I remember some that. Some event that I, it, I have no memory It was of when you were, it's something, yeah. Yeah, anyway. I'm just remembering a female comedian that was involved, but I don't know if it was a positive involvement. Oh, oh, so oh. I don't want to bring it up. That's, but that's um, okay. it was for a Quibi show thing. Or maybe you were going on a date no. after a Quibi show. It was a party. It no. was when you were working on a Quibi show. Oh, okay. It was, it was it, that time period. It was something else, though. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry, Annabelle. guys. Insider. They're like, what's Quibi? Cut, Not cut, one cut. person knows what Quibi is. And thank you, Lizzie, for coming. And this has been great. No. Um, okay, so. Wait, okay. okay. No, so I, Lizzie calls me from her car once. And she goes, I can't get in the house. There's a, what animal was stalking you? Was oh, it a peacock? there was a possum on my. Like on my stoop. Yeah. So Just she staring got, at me like this. I think Lizzie is the closest thing to Dr. Doolittle that we have. <laughs> and it's not just because of her outfit. But I, I think that you think you have like a problem with nature. Yeah. I think you're like their only hope of like speaking to a human. Like they're trying to communicate I with mean, you. And I'm not going to kick it out of bed. And I theory. think you're just not open to it. And you're like, you're like kind of rejecting of it when really need to be more inviting of it. They're so attracted to you. It is bizarre. Like the the year that I got, and look, we don't have to go there. Let's go there. <laughs> but the year I got Lyme, there were there were animals all around my apartment building, and I feel like I got it. They were trying to warn because you because 
I think it was the tick was probably on one oh, of them, okay. honestly, because I got it in my apartment. Spoiler, her glamping joke that you're going to see when you come. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. Well, you're kind of <laughs> glamping. You were living in a tent in I your was. house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was because my friend Marianne was like, Lizzie, you're not sleeping. She's like, I looked this up. There, there are indoor tents. So I bought this one. It was really kind of creepy because it had like ruffles. It looked like a little girl who's like, I'm a princess. I like that though. That's fun. We'll live in here. And I put it on top of my bed. So I slept in a tent on top of my bed for about- Oh, it was on top of the bed. (laughs) I don't know why I thought you were on the floor. I really was like, this is so weird to be on the floor. Even closer to nature. (laughs) I know, closer to the cockroaches. Um, I put it on my bed. I slept in it. And then, oh yeah. And then I moved to Santa Fe. She moved to Santa Fe, my favorite place in the world. I'm yes. actually going on a girl's trip there. Sorry, you're not invited. That's okay. But, um, right. No, that's fine. Is that so funny? <laughs> no. You don't want to go. You don't want to be the one random no. person in a group of girls you don't know. Is there anything yes. more frightening? But isn't it also like you're doing a special ceremony? And well, stuff? it's we're not doing a ceremony. We're some girls from my ceremony. Okay. Okay. But um, isn't it? Isn't it like there's something to me frightening about a group of girls that have all already bonded coming right. in. Not that I, I, not that I can't hopscotch in, but it's scary. Cause I, it's not that I've been the, the only one in, but I've been, I went to a birthday party once. That's not our house, right? Oh no. It's our neighbors going downstairs. That was so scary. Someone just blows the candles out. Like, <gasps> um, it's Dr. Doolittle. It's Dr. It's a, it's a camel. Like how did a camel get up here? It did sound like a galloping on the stairs. <laughs> um, but I went on this birthday party once with, it was one of my girlfriend's birthday parties and we all went to Palm Springs. And there had been a girl invited that people didn't like. Do I already, I already know this story, right? You know this story. Okay, yes, okay. I know you're Do telling me. Do I need me to the, repeat it? Yeah, yes, I want you to repeat it. Okay. Do you want me to not uh, tell? Can I tell you what I remember from this? Yes. Actually, okay. your shirt is kind of reminding me of this story. Because I remember like a gold Mylar balloon. Was yes, it? yes. I got some okay, balloons. Okay, yes. I got, um, my friend whose birthday was, had been telling me for like six months, like dropping these hints that she loved gold balloons and she wanted them for her birthday. Like this was a friend that like, she told you what you wanted. And I love to get people what they want. Like, wow, I okay. love getting presents. I love getting people. The th- I love, well, like, I remembering told you something you at CVS, said. I wanted that Similac behind the counter. <laughs> she, there was a whole to do at <laughs> the right age. <laughs> um, but there was, like, okay. yeah. So, so I was excited to get her these balloons. And I risked my life because I had to go get them, like, inflated at a... Party City near the house that we rented. And they'll only do it under your shirt. <laughs> I mean, that would have been <laughs> Those are actually, and she's you know actually they, flat chested. These are actually my balloons. <laughs> Thank you, Party City. It says, <laughs> it says Sarah is 30. Um, but so, okay, so I go to get, and I'm literally like, I, mm-hmm. I have pictures of it somewhere. I'm, I almost die. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not being dramatic. It was the scariest drive of my life. And I'm including driving completely blackout drunk. I mean, I was at risk, so I couldn't turn. There was no, I couldn't see mirrors. <gasps> I had to just go forward hoping all I had was forward. Right, right. Because they're I, surrounding me. Yes. There's no other way to do it. I had this happen once where I was driving up like the side of a mountain <laughs> with the sun in my eyes. And I was like, just, it's like, you can only see the, you know what? It's a metaphor for faith. Yes. You, you can believe. only see so far in front of you. You don't know what the future will bring. And also, I can't believe you're the one that wasn't in the balloon car. <laughs> it's like the most shocking thing. But I, but I, I, I didn't, I didn't do it like because I'm a mime. When I get I people juggle. presents, I don't need like credit for it. I just really like right. to like fulfill the thing. Yeah. But I don't want to be like in trouble for getting a present, which is what happened. One of her friends, I guess, took it as a competition or something, and was like, "Whoa, Annie for the win!" And <gasps> took you know they like wait. Um, balloons to the ground. They're helium. So like weighted them to the ground with like a little, a little thing. She picked it up and she threw it in the pool. She was like, we get it, Annie. You're so great. And it's like, what? Like I would have like, you could have paid for some of it. We could have been from us. Like it's not a thing. It was so crazy. Oh my God. And, and you're like, yeah, okay. But it's like, you feel so awkward. I'm such a people pleaser too. And I'm like, I'm literally here to make people happy. I have no other like ulterior motive. Right. So it was so weird. 
And then my friend, it's her birthday, so I'm not going to like bother her with like her friend being a You bitch. should have been like, that was my colostomy bag. <laughs> oh my God. And just <laughs> shit all over her and just have all this shit just fall out of my ass. <laughs> but it was such a crazy experience because I had just come out of a cycle of cluster headaches and I'd been living at my friend's house. Like, Can just, I say whenever you say cluster headaches, it sounds so delicious. Like I'm just oh. like, ooh, peanutty, chocolatey cluster. <laughs> well, you know what? I think it is my body being like, you're. I'm forcing you to have a break from work. It's mm. going to be the most torturous break you've ever had, but you can't. It, it's forcing mm. me. It's like my body forcing me to say no to things that I'm saying yes to. Yeah. And there's all these things that like, I saw so many healers and things and we were like all trying to like, conquer my cluster headaches from the from the like spiritual level but it's just then your head is like zap i'm like guys i don't know it feels pretty physical that's your indoor tent that's my indoor tent <laughs> do you know that's i feel like i tent. didn't tell very many people about that do you i think i was exposed? embarrassed because i think i went i think the pandemic like did it i think being alone during lockdown for that long i think i did i developed an addiction to two <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Randy's disgusted. He's like a ten. I started playing two dots and on my phone, playing. and I'm still. I I just delete. I just. I'm remember, playing two dots it. right now. Two. You deleted it. Yeah, I was like, I can't. This is. It's okay. actually. I have another. Please, I have a tell me, please. Not to interrupt you, which is. I really, love it. It's kind please of what do. I do. <laughs> I realized I was talking 100 percent about myself, and I had to stop the story. I interrupted you, and and I, I actually no, please interrupt I so actually, you can get a word in. I diminished your disease. I said, "Oh, cluster headache. It's like painful for you." And I'm like, "Oh, that sounds delicious." Well, I lie, does do you think Lyme disease doesn't sound gorgeous? <laughs> sounds like a pie. It's a, Slice well, a pie. Lyme It sounds. I mean, there's nothing nothing bad about it. <laughs> I we start lime. Fight, I we start lime. fighting. You have key lime. I have key lime disease. <laughs> Maybe that's why people get so confused by it. Are you saying key? I'm telling them key. <laughs> okay, so this is my <clears throat> bias snake outfit. Okay, which we'll get to later. But it's so gorgeous. Yes. What was I saying? Two you dots. Were, oh, I, I have a pitch for you. I have a pitch for you. <laughs> is it? Lizzie and I are very good at like helping each other stay yes. in a good space and yes. high vibes. So something I've been doing, which you can try on. I don't know if you want. Okay. I'm not deleting the game. I'm leaving it. So when I see it and I want to click on it, I realize it's time for me to do something creative. I'm using it as a, as mm, a, as a tell. pivoting point. Yes. So when I go to play it, I go like Todd saw me playing it the other day. So he's going to be like me, we're playing it, but I have not played it in a long time. And here I had to get a, do you know, I had to get a cur I had to get the, um, the thing on my phone where you can't see it from the side because Todd video game explains me. He sits behind me. My game is just blocks. And so now I've made it so he can't. Even oh, yeah. Work. Blockbuster. It's like busting oh, yeah. blocks Remember or something. We... Yeah. You're like, he... but he did used to work at Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole podcast is going to be us remembering riffs. I, I, <laughs> I remember that one thing we said 10 years ago. But do you know, have you ever put your phone on grayscale? No. Which I believe is also a character in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a disease. it's a disease. It is a disease. Put, Grace, isn't it grayscale? Really? He didn't Grace watch Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. He's a hipster. You, um, yeah, you can set your phone to black and white, and it makes you like not even want to look at it. Interesting. Yeah. Unless you're a boomer. You're like, no, I feel right at home. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching Leave It to Beaver on here. You're like, where do I pull up? Is this on uh, Voodoo? <laughs> I can find it on I Voodoo. I just <laughs> asked Lizzie. There was a... a, a DVD at Rite Aid of Mama's House, which by the way, why oh, yeah. are we still selling DVDs? And of course it's Mama's House because yeah, it's going to be the only question. people that are going to be using DVDs are going to have watched Mama's House. I go, did you ever watch? No, Mama's House was like, a, was it Carol Burnett? Who was it? I don't, I did not recognize that woman. I don't know. I'm actually ashamed. Maybe it was. I think it may have been, yeah. It was some comedic female actress would, played like an old lady. Yeah. And I was like, when I was a kid, I don't know why. Maybe I wanted to be a comedian. I don't know. I was like obsessed with it. And I would sneak it mm. when my parents weren't watching. I'd in your like, mama's house. In my mama's That's house. So I did what I wanted. <laughs> um, I love that we saw that. Yeah. Well, who's buying the DVDs nowadays? It's insane. Who's getting and who's going things? to Rite Aid for that? Rite Aid's for- What if I it was secretly me? I'm like, who is using DVDs And just like start falling out. You, you shoplifted them? I have a Blackberry in here. Do you know that? <laughs> Do you really? I still have one. Yeah. That's okay. my burner. 
<laughs> <laughs> I have affairs on my Blackberry. Like I pull out a full really typewriter. Have one? And at home I do. What I do have you do a Blackberry. You just have it? I'm waiting for it to collect value. I mean, it's a hoarding problem, probably. Do you have other? I have old like computers. A oh. Yeah. It does feel yeah. weird to get rid of electronics. Yeah, I, like I don't poison. know why. I'm just like, I feel like there's stuff on there that people could find, you know? Yeah, but Lizzie, here's the thing. No, I'm, I have an invention on there called garbage. It's oh, a garbage I thought you meant like pictures. Okay. I was like, I thought you meant pictures because I was like, I would love for people no. to find the pictures I took when I was in my 20s. Woo wee. Right. I used to send pictures to my ex-boyfriend. I'd be like, my tit would be out. You did? Oh, yeah. I made a, uh, um, and his, he's married to one of my friends now. And she mm. found this like old card. She goes, just found this. And I had sent him a card where it was like, because he always liked my ass. That was like his favorite part of my body. Um, so I made oh him God. a thing. This was when I was 19, by the way. So Todd, you can't go, oh my God, okay? You were in fucking fourth grade. You're not allowed to have an opinion about this. <laughs> Todd, you were, if I was, if I was 19, you were eight years old. So. Oh my God. Well, I was getting my pee eaten by a bald man. You were, Todd was still voting though. <laughs> he was very mature. He's a, he's, a, he's an old soul. They let him vote. He's tall. He was tall. Don't worry. He was tall. It was okay. Let's just say Todd rocked the vote. Oh, wait, Lizzie. <laughs> what is her? What is that character? Is there a name? Rock the Vote. That's the name of it? No, I don't know. <laughs> I looked... Oh, no, you know she is. She's my rock star character. Oh, the rock star. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's just say, he rocked it. Guys, you rocked it today. You're just a rock star. The, I feel like... If you're going to say, everyone here, Todd, you're a rock star for doing Tackle Room. Like, you are a rock star. I the feel fact like... that you're there, you're touching the dials. I feel like you're, that character is allowed to hook up with an eight-year-old. <laughs> I like she's fine that person's a warrior for sure i saw no. um <laughs> no <laughs> okay, edit it i mean I, in like a, yeah, i saw yeah. an interview with marilyn letourneau and before she passed away in her teen who is husband. that she was the teacher that had their 13 year old oh right okay and she was in the interview and they were going like it's pretty inappropriate that you did that. And she goes, no, he was the boss. Like you were the boss. And he's like, what? And she goes, even though he's 13, it doesn't matter because he was the boss. Mm. And he's like staring at her. He goes, you were the boss. Tell them you were the boss. Tell them you were the boss. And he's like, what? I'm confused. It was Tony the Danza, right? <laughs> he's like, I always thought Mona was. It's the greatest mystery of our time. Mona. My friend Rich and I boss? were talking That's about that. So we were like, I don't actually know they who never the boss came. was. I, I never really yeah. thought of what the the name meant. Yeah, it's like, yeah. And actually, now I'm like, that's so funny. It's just like, who's the boss between the man and the woman? Yes, like. Oh my God, it's like me and Todd. Who's the boss? <laughs> because weirdly, Tony Danza was kind of the beta in that situation. Which is similar to Todd. Oh my God. No, Todd and I, we, oh I think we God. trade off boss. We trade off boss. <laughs> Oh my Todd. It oh my Todd. Todd. It is a Todd. No, no. Oh my Todd. For the love of Todd. No, it's yes. not. That yeah. was, it That's was. The show, yeah, for the love was. of Todd. For the love of that. Todd. Yeah, I think so. Right? And it's serious. It's not a joke. <laughs> Don't have a pun if it's not a funny show. That's a good reality. Lizzie, there's two loops in your hair that are that are Can you wild. Help me? Has it been like that the whole time? <laughs> down okay. there, down there. Did I get them? Yep. Thank you. Are you self-conscious now? I was born on a corkscrew. <laughs> so I have upside down eyes. <laughs> so help me, Todd. That's what it was. So help me, Todd. So help me, Todd. <laughs> but it's serious. How dare you? I'm sorry. I can't. We were talking about this. Did we talk about that we're restaurant like, that had the You've puns? got a Dorito wedged directly in between your two. Lizzie, front you teeth. look like <laughs> shit. Lizzie, you look like I shit. I saw that orange triangle this whole time. Right Can now. we discuss the head Annie. size difference though between us? Is is mine? Mine is a very large. Oh, okay. Well. Annie, yours is stunning, obviously. And I was actually told that I have a teen-sized head, not brain, <laughs> head. Teen. Teen-sized head. A doctor told you and that? And my, yeah, and then he pulled out his deck and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Does he get, is that in trouble? Does he I, get in trouble for, for hooking up with too young of heads? I'm so sorry. <laughs> he? I had to make my glasses smaller here. It's just like right in this part. I have to get them pushed. I have in. an opposite thing. Do you want to do your? Do you have your wardrobe change? 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we brought a costume change. So this is part two. This is part two. The other ones now. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing these once on a podcast and someone I goes, are you comfortable right now? I go, yes. They do look heavy. Can I try them on? They are so heavy and they are extremely prescription. Do they look small on me? They look small, right? Wait, Annie, those, I really like them on you, actually. There's pictures from, from Denver. Oh, yeah, where you have this Wait, on. Denver is coming up. Do you want to just come back to Denver? Yes. Okay, Ooh. Denver's the one. Denver's in. I love it. That was Denver's so fun, Annie, because that's soon. our anniversary. I think March. No, our, it's not. It's before March, I think. That's our anniversary. It's our anniversary. Can we have a romantic. <laughs> Do you remember when I thought someone's like, name was I'm Nark in instead of Mark or something? <laughs> At Do you that remember club? that? I was like, your name's Nark? And he's like, it's Wait. Mark. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it was like Annie, so obvious. It's like the most obvious name. There was a woman there who was about to go on a date. Do you remember? An older woman. And we were yes. like, and we were like, she was like, it's tomorrow night. We never found out. So maybe she'll be there. Did you end up reading her tarot cards? Yes. Okay. Lizzie has a, has a gift and a Annie. curse. Lizzie has a gift and a curse. And I actually want it. Can I just get you some clients? Because yes. my people are the yes. best. Because I want to say she really is very gifted at tarot, but it can become a terror when people find out like in a green room, especially yes. when we're about to work. Lizzie has like, she's they're They're separate, but they're also, you know what I mean? She's like, she can do many things. So, but when you're doing, when you're going to do comedy, you don't want to put on your gypsy hat. <laughs> right. You don't bring out the crystal ball. Right. Exactly. So you need to use that energy for yourself to into it. Yes. I have to compartmentalize stage. it a little yes. bit, but I also feel like reading for my friends, it's, it's a little slightly more challenging. So it's like when your friend writes a book and you're like, what does Andrea have to teach me about manifestation? She's my <laughs> whiniest friend. <laughs> she complains all the time. And she's like, You're like doing the cards. You're like, uh, it's Jed. <laughs> it's Jed. <laughs> I've been yeah, like you know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then but, you don't want like you don't want to say something that's gonna like make your friends mad right. too. Right? I mean, a seven of swords might come up. We don't know. There it might did be. I don't know the last one I did with you, didn't it? Oh, really? Interesting. I don't remember. It's it's not even the worst. I don't even it's remember. It's not even the worst. But also, told, nothing's but, the worst. And but yeah, it's all good. And I, but I yes. So I do. That was another thing that came out of my podcast is they voted for me to be a professional tarot reader. So now I do it over Zoom. You can go to my website, LizzieCooperman.com. I'm doing an overhaul though, because I've got to separate it. She's, and we got to keep it separated. We've got to keep it separated. Right now it's there. And, um, but you're what very if I gifted just in space. You're very gifted. I'm channeling. <laughs> when you put the glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, today is such a big day. You know we have, why? We have a big new sponsor. Oh, I love that. And we love this sponsor. It's so exciting, you guys. We are, we look, we want to look cute when we're skiing and we want to look cute when we're surfing. And that is why we are so excited to have Marine Layer as a sponsor. You know, they have the coolest retro, retro looking clothes that is ridiculously soft. Look, what's cooler than looking now? It's looking back then. And we love vintage. We love retro. You can have that snow bunny look and oh. you got to check out Marine Layer. OK, it's got the coolest stuff. Uh, they've got sweaters, beanies, hoodies, color block, puffer vests, ski inspired outerwear. You're going to be obsessed with them just like we are. Ours are in the mail. I have this cute puffer jacket that's like a red checker and it's reversible. You can switch it. And Todd has this absolutely amazing, stunning, I would call it, sweater coming. And it's got the view of uh, the skyline. Oh, and it's so cool. And uh, I can't wait to There's wear it. There's a sun and, and a moon. And, and it's... just show it off to all of the people on Christmas Day. But guys, Marine Layer not only has you looking cute, but they have an awesome commitment to sustainability. And we love that, okay? You know I like to buy clothes. You know I love clothes. Here's the problem, though. Sometimes you run out of closets. You got to get rid of stuff. What are you going to do? Throw it in the trash? What are you going to do? Go try to resell it somewhere? No, I don't have time for a garage sale. You know what I have time for? Sustainability. And that's why I love their respawn program. That's where I send in all my old ratty t-shirts and they'll turn them into cute stuff. They even give you $5 for each donated t-shirt, okay? I got a lot, so you can end up banking those $5. And I'm telling you, they're also giving you 15% off your entire order. So get everyone something you want. I have the cutest outfits coming. You guys are gonna love them. They're just, there's something for everyone. 
So I heard so far they've diverted over 475,000 t-shirts from the landfill. That's amazing. You could recycle your old stuff and stock up on super soft essentials for your friends and families. Or, or for even yourself. for yourself, because guys, we know what happens over the holidays, okay? We go shopping for other people and we see cute things that we want on our own bodies. And I say, no shame in self-shopping during the holidays. Buy yourself a gift, make it soft and sustainable and make it cute. I'm telling you, they have the most adorable options and i wish i had my puffer jacket on now it is in the mail i wish it was here you know we're gonna have to recycle all these old skink shirts when uh arnold passes away so oh my god in 30 years in 30 years <laughs> and we're so happy for marine layer and we're so glad that we no longer have to be uh, uh wasting our fabrics and they can be respun I think we can all admit great gifts can be hard to find. Look no further than Marine Layer. For a limited time, get 15% off at marinelayer.com slash Annie15. That's marinelayer.com slash Annie15 for 15% off your entire order. Saving your closet one shirt at a time. Don't you That's wish amazing. Don't you wish <laughs> Esther Hicks had like a better look? I wish she like looked more kooky. Oh, interesting. I did a workshop with her. I've done it too, yeah. yeah. Did you like it? Oh, wait, you did like a we online workshop. We are Abraham. Workshop. We are here to tell you your manifestation is, that really? is a... That's how she talks when, when she's... When she does it. Yeah, she's like, we she channels, are there. Yeah. And she but channels she Abraham Lincoln. She's like, four <laughs> score and seven years ago, I manifested an infinity pool. It's like, I don't think he manifested much, if you know what I mean. He manifested a hole in money. He should have been golfing. He should have been golfing. <laughs> Abraham. He's just she Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Hello. She's only manifesting <laughs> Abraham Lincoln the whole time. Lizzie, we need to start. It. Listen, I, I think to. this is the era of our cringe sketches. Yeah, we, we have to. Guys, there's the only way we to be have, cringe is to yeah. think you're cringe or is to worry about being yeah. cringe. Just be cringe, right? Mm -hmm. So Lizzie and I have a cringe era coming up. It's going to be sketches. It's also, we are going to ecstatic dance together. We are. We are. We have a plan. <laughs> Annie sent me the Instagram page to ecstatic dancing. A guy is wearing a t-shirt that says free hug. Listen, my, I want to tell you something. My hugs cost a lot of money and I'm going to start charging for my meet and greet. Sorry, guys. Mother Ayahuasca told me it's inappropriate to I'm have free I'm giving free bugs. Greets. I'm handing out cockroaches. <laughs> She's pulling like little cute ones out of her ear. <laughs> this one's a girl. This one's a boy. <laughs> I just burst a phone. I'm like, some people wrote a novel during COVID. <laughs> I created a family <laughs> of my own. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting ants. Okay, so I had an ant collection when I was little. And I had Not surprised. <laughs> it was all her ants. They died. She lined the bone, their dead bodies up. <laughs> She combed their hair every night until the it was head my fell off. Ants. <laughs> yeah, Lizzie, we all have ants. Do <laughs> you think you're better than me? <laughs> um, but the tar oh, the tarot. Did you like the ant collection? How did you feel about it? But can I tell you, I loved it, and and I had put them in these little drawers. I had this little Hello Kitty thing, and I just would find ants outside and put them in the drawers. Then I'd be like, they die. That's not a collection. I, That's not a fucking collection. <laughs> It's a mental illness. Put a miniature with that's a, a little, coping, with that's my a little coping tiny mechanism. vibrator in there. <laughs> Just miniature everything. <laughs> but Polly Pocket has a has a. <laughs> <laughs> she has her own like. What's the um? What's the the popular vibrator everyone has? The rabbit. Well, Hitachi. She has her own. The Hitachi would be bigger. I think than that's what we ordered when we got hot pot together. Hitachi. <laughs> oh, Todd. I was like, what is this? I took her to hot pot and I knew, I knew it was going to happen to her. It happens to Todd every time. It happens to the best of us. She scorched her mouth pretty early Imme on. Immediately. And I go, <laughs> Annie, I can't feel my tongue. And, and it, it affected things. It made everything sweet and sour. <laughs> It, it just like took the layer off. It's like a laser. I got microdermabrasion <laughs> from my dog. I said to Annie, I'm like, just look at it. I'm like, just look. Is it discolored? I was like, it looks fine. She's like, she don't worry. You'll, you'll still be able to writhe on stage tonight <laughs> with the burnt off. Well, I just found out Lizzie just told me that her comedic inspiration is Sam Kinison and everything <laughs> makes sense now. The berets, the screaming. <laughs> Annie, I, yes. I remember seeing him on TV and he's like, it was that thing where he's like, what? I mean, it's, it's very, he was an edgelord. The guy was an edgelord. He's like, why didn't you go where the food is? Do you know that? Yeah, that I don't know. The routine much. or whatever. Okay. 
the, him and then Laurie Anderson, who's a performance artist who uses like soundscapes. Mm. And I was always like, oh, I want sound in it. Oh, I love that. And then one night I was, I didn't want to so do you my show. both of them. I had, I mean, it wasn't intentional, but I had a night where I didn't want to do my show. And I was like, I can't do it. I just don't want to do what I'm doing. And you fell on a keyboard. You're like, oh. Yeah, and a piano. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> cartoon style <laughs> fell on my head. That was my head injury, which we also talked about. <laughs> no, I went to Guitar Center and, or whatever, and I got a keyboard, and I was like, I'll just see. Let me just see what Interesting. happens. Interesting. How much did it cost? And it was, I think it was, I used one for probably $70 Okay, at the time. so it wasn't a huge financial risk, but it was right. a, it was a it's very a, big yeah. Yeah. leap of faith into the future. Yes. And I remember, I mean, I didn't use it in the same way that Did I do now. Did you ever know how to play piano? Vaguely. Like, yeah. I can barely play Memory from Cats. Yeah. It sounds and like... And those glasses? Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> you can just see me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you just didn't start doing so show tunes sad. before my set that's so funny i might actually bring a Annie, cane out i'd take you out i'd have Annie, to let you do it you're an artist i have to let you so do what you wanted funny ha- you do like craig robinson but it's for uh, show tunes <laughs> you know craig robinson is like saying like you come this. out in a mask <laughs> da- <gasps> this is what we should do i should learn how to i'll just close like i'll go da, da, na, 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 and then you come out and I'm just covering half my no, face. No, 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 no. People either go crazy or walk out of the They'll be like, what the hell is going on? I think we can play more. We can play more. Yeah. Especially I think so, 100%. in fucking Denver. That, that was so fun. Actually, I have to say that was a, I felt like that was like a magical, because I felt like we really hadn't spent tons of time together. Mm. And I walked in on you painting and I was like. Oh my God, I forgot the painting. And you were painting, you were sitting there and I was like. Oh my God. Like it was like. Yeah. And you met my best friend Tara from college. I met your best friend Tara. We had omelets. We yes. had a deep exchange. I slept in a crazy bed that looked like Willy Wonka lived it's there. It's really amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. And everyone yeah. was so nice and mm-hmm. like. I know. Annie, that was like really amazing. Do you think that woman's date went well? I or she I almost passed away it. from old age. I know. I was like, <laughs> she's, still, she's at still at the club. And if you're watching, I'm so sorry. I don't know age. Like, I have let's no Let's just clue. say we have an extra hoodie lying around. I was pre-40 at that hoodie. time. I never mentioned people's age anymore. I just tell everyone they're beautiful. And I tell men I like their lawn. I just saw that woman on Raya, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I am gullible to you. You tell me this. I'm like... <laughs> Um, you gotta watch. Annabelle. Go back and watch some lives, Lizzie and oh, I. Yeah. We do some lives it's on Instagram. So fun. We hung out at Home Goods for hours. <laughs> but um, oh, the tarot. But I, I have to say, I like doing it on Zoom because then it's like, oh, time's up. Right. Whereas when you do it in person, there was one woman who was like, ah. Oh, so anyway, and I was like, well, great. So I feel like this was really, this was satisfying for me. I hope it was for you. You <laughs> like, know, I hope I this think- was enlightening. Yeah, like people just want to. Well, they want more too, right? They're like, okay, so we conquered relationships. Now work. Now yes, and in LA, it's very much like so. There's this project, and then they want another project. Yeah, like what about this project? Yes, yes. Okay, so this reminds me. One of my favorite things about you are, and I think because I don't think that you naturally had them is what I'm guessing. You're very good (laughs) at getting a boob job. Those gotta be fake. No, at boundaries. Mm. the thing I love about you the most is you'll text Lizzie and I, I do want to steal this from you yeah. and she has an away message mm-hmm. you text her and it's like you know when you like you text someone and they're like they usually do it for like when they're on vacation or something Lizzie yeah. just does it when she's doing writing her morning pages and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that and I do want to say I have a merch idea for you too before I forget it I can't wait you know how people have the shirts that say don't talk to me I haven't had my coffee yet don't talk to me I haven't done my morning pages yet oh my God. Is that not fucking perfect? That's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Don't talk to me until I've done my morning pages. Yeah. Because how, there's and it's so me, many. But I'm a cat screeching down because they always have like a, mat, a cat that's like. Arr. Yeah. Why is every writing book like an upset cat? Save the cat. Save the cat. Why? There's always a cat to demonstrate because they think that that ate that. Uh, I can't think of the word. Age group and stuff relates to that. You know, the like rosé all day kind of thing. Rosé all day. But isn't that, it's your rosé all day. What do you think? It's my rosé. Because I I think you guys comment below if you know about morning pages, if you do morning pages, if you're going to do morning pages now. And can I say one more incredible thing about it? I always start the day a little negative. Like that's just, it's like chiropractic work. 
Like I leave going it's like, oh, I feel what? <laughs> it's a scam and they all become my gurus somehow. Every time I like look it's up the, whenever I look up any of like the history of my gurus, they were always chiropractors or car salesmen. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Yes. My chiropractor, he wore a button down shirt, but then brown beads. And I was like, pick a lane, sweetie. Pick we can't a lane. either ecstatic dance or fix my or back. Or you're Hawaiian. I feel like a Hawaiian man can get away with that look. You know what I mean? Because they're used to lays and stuff. So I think he's it's... wearing a free hugs t- <laughs> shirt. My hugs cost money. I don't want a free hug. We know hugs are. Fr- right. We know we can hug a man. Right. By the way, men, free it's implied hugs. that hugs are Ugh. free from you. That's such. A I've creepy... never had a man go. I-, I have a boundary of having your tits pressed against my chest. I've never had a man. I love that you recognize that with the boundaries. It's good. I just say, I'm away from my phone, but I'll get back to you when the time is right. I want to write one that's when more I'm, dirty. Like, that's like, I'm, like sure. I'm away from my phone. And if I don't get back to you, please take the hint and move on. Like, I want my away message to do the full yeah. boundary dirty work. Yeah. I have energetically cut ties with you. Yeah. I have to put my phone in my car sometimes, too. What, so the animals get it? So, yeah. <laughs> Does your phone ever get stuck in the car? Because they the want it to be coming? buried in wrappers. <laughs> Do the animals come to my car? No, but I was walking down the street and there was a coyote right next to me. And there was a car driving by. I go, there's a coyote. I go, can I get in your car real quick? And the guy was like, what? <laughs> that guy was like, no free hugs here. <laughs> they were like, no, sorry. And like, you respected wow. the boundaries. Huh? Like, I think about that a lot. If there's a- Maybe they saw a cockroach coming out of your ear. I think about that. Like, if there was a bear or something. In my neighborhood, like who would save me if I'm like, hello? I'll tell you who the oh. peacock. <laughs> You'd be riding on that back. Do you know what her name was? What credenza? Credenza. I had I had people in my Instagram stories name her because I was building a credenza at the time. Wow! And someone was like, you should name her that, and it's actually beautiful. if you if you build a credenza, credenza will come. Credenza. Will come. <laughs> Annie, oh my God, you have this sweet. Everyone sweetheart. thinks my dog's dead. He's just floppy. <laughs> Um, Randy, so, tell us how you're doing today. Do you know I met? I Wait, actually Lizzie's met you here. in an Wait, elevator. Lizzie's here. Wait, Annie, I Lizzie's met you in here. an you elevator. You can talk now. <laughs> it's your time to speak, Randy. Todd, will you add him saying something? <laughs> no. Todd, edit. Will you add him saying something? Todd, add him saying something funny. Todd. You, the, you just cut her off. She had a story for you. No, she interrupted my bit. Okay, and I won't <laughs> I be did. asking her back. <laughs> And she will, and guys, I'm up. Anybody that wants to open for me in Denver. <laughs> Annie would, but I interrupted. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I cut you off. Remember when people used to do like this to indicate you were a nerd? I They'd, still do it. They would go, according to my calculations. I literally still do it. I still do it. I do it all the time. I, go, I love that. I do it constantly. According to my calculations. It's so funny to still do that. Todd still does the like, Randy, there's something on your. Oh my God. I used to do an act out in my act of a valedictorian Cyclops. I was like, guys, stop. <laughs> it's so dumb. I can't do it. Don't bury the lead. Come I on. can't. I can't. Oh, yeah. Come to the show and do the that show. promo. <laughs> but he's like adjusting his glass, basically. <laughs> <laughs> early, early days, early days. But do you know I met you outside an elevator at E? At E. And you told me a story that you then did on This Is Not Happening. Yeah. We had like a, you know. It was always me talking at Lizzie and interrupting her. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I love that. And I was like, ooh, this girl's got great taste. I'm a, I'm a, I like being a sounding board, too. Mm. Mm. Not much bored about that uh, ah. chest right there. <laughs> I love your adoration of my chest tonight. You're, no, listen, this I is, don't, it's not appropriate, but it's you so got the nice. hottest body in comedy. Annabelle. Thank you for your service. Thank you for saying. Thank you I, for I, your I'm service. I'm not saying I think that's true, but I appreciate that I'm alive and that I have a body. I think your body is gorgeous I as well. I love my body and I'm grateful for every morning your body. and every day. And every I day. love your body and so, so does everyone in the hotel lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> we had this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. I don't even think I told Todd. We... All we wanted to do was enjoy a mocktail. I was literally having a mocktail. That was one of the most disgusting things I've ever tasted in my life. We're in San Jose. She did butt chug it, though. (laughs) (laughs) I boof. She boof. (laughs) So Lizzie and I are just having, like, she's having a drink. I'm having a mocktail. We're just sitting, waiting, deciding whether we want to order some food. Yeah. After the shows at this Mm. hotel. A man 
who looks like he escaped. If you're wearing pajama bottoms into a bar, I will assume you escaped from a place where you're supposed to be asleep. Right. They were Mario Kart pajamas. It was not okay. And I was... And he plopped much like a peacock. <laughs> down in the booth. Across, or on he the just bench sat across from us. And I think I was FaceTiming with Todd and you were next to me. We're yeah. kind of like looking at him and talking to him. And the guy is obviously like waving, trying to get our attention. And we're like, you know, we're already waving him off. And then what did he do? He comes, crawls over. He crawled. Yeah, he kind he of was crawled. on his knees next to me. And he goes, can I buy you ladies? Or he goes, are those Mylar balloons in your shirt? And I go, <laughs> no. <laughs> he goes, can I buy you ladies a drink? It's like. Or something. Buddy. I'm like. Or yeah, like, well, buddy, we went going was, like this to you already. The thing is, like, some guys are afraid to make moves. And the all, ones that should be. Are not, and I don't right. understand what it is. Mm. Well, because you're in a relationship, so you're giving off. You give off the energy of one who's don't come shaken. near me. When people do, I, I go. Uh huh. I go. I, it's time for me to go to bed. It's nine. I don't have time for this. You point to your watch. Your. I go. I have boundaries. The evil eye is watching me. You just say to their face, "I'm away from my phone right now." <laughs> I'm energetically cutting ties with you. I'm energetically cutting ties right now. I think that's actually, I think people would probably not mind having that said to them. I, I'm energetically unable to speak right now. Yeah. This is three weeks ago, probably. Right? Yeah. Four we're weeks at ago. A, this was post home goods. It was post home goods when we were in uh, San Jose and she sees a, a Ross dress for us and she goes, it's too soon. I can't. I was like, of, he's still mourning. Oh, he's still mourning. Chandler. Yeah, you tell your part because it was so funny. <laughs> I go, he's still mourning the death of Chandler. We can't go. And then we got to Ross dressed for loss. Loss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's Were you so kidding? fun to hang out with each other. We I just know. go, go, go. We I encourage the refs. We encourage the brains. We encourage the brain. We encourage the free association. Are you ADD? I'm sure. I, my I doctor has wanted to. Yeah. I just, I everything, me. I walk into a room, I leave, there's a tornado. I've created the tornado. Yes. My car is like that. My room is like that. I have to count. I've been trying to throw a hundred things away a day and there's always a hundred things. <laughs> But I, I will would not get throw to away five. my Blackberry. <laughs> I would get to five and I would be watching the challenge. I'd be like, ooh, the challenge is on. Yeah, it's so hard to stay, um, to stay oh. focused. When this dog is off my lap, he is so annoying. I didn't mean to dress like my chair. Oh, my God. I wore this Wait, outfit. Annie, you know what that is? It's very Barbarella. Oh. <laughs> bar, 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 Barbarella. Barbarella. <laughs> My uh, Barbarella, Ella, 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 Ella. Ella. <laughs> okay. My Barbinos um, are showing. Okay. So, I wanted to tell you something that happened yes. today. I need to hear about it. Do we I, finish the balloon story, by the way? The balloon. It almost felt like I was talking too much. Also, this is. Okay. Yeah, okay. It just was Got like. It. And message received. It was weird. That story, like, and I told it, and who cares, okay, guys? Okay. And I'm over it. I'm friends with everyone. Yeah, because I still haven't told my origin story. And I've. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Speaking of TikTok. Speaking of TikTok. We met in an elevator. Did. Annie and I met in an elevator. And then I met a guy in an elevator. <laughs> I had a dalliance with a man I met in an elevator. You had a deli dance? A deli. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like I'll be the meat. <laughs> Wait, what was the joke? <laughs> I was like, you have. Roast, it's roast you're, beef. You're, I'm broke, so I have roast beef blinds. <laughs> I live in an apartment with vertical roast beef. <laughs> it feels more like an Asian joke, honestly, but we're not going to go there, okay? Oh, wait, what is, how is that? Because they're supposed to be sideways. Oh, you're Asian because so, so, you're, okay. I am Asian now, but I'm coming for you. I'm, you know I'm planning your wedding, right? Day and please. night. <laughs> please, somebody. I'm planning it. I'm I, planning it. It's just going to be roast beef hanging from the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> Everybody dresses in penis hats. It's going to be at your favorite CVS. <laughs> it's like the most a kooky wedding. You planned me a kooky yes. wedding. No, but okay. So. Okay. Your story of today. 
No, we'll tell the story of today, but did, did you shy away from wanting to talk oh, about Oh, from that? wanting to talk about the guy? Well, he's not a clock. I, we call him a clock maker. I called him a clock maker. <laughs> Listen, I, I told clock- him, Annie, I go, Annie, I met a clock. I had a thing with a clock maker this week. I clocked him as a clock maker. I clock- <laughs> and trust me, I used two hands. <laughs> and then my Morton's toe for the third, for the second. <laughs> her legs are really. <laughs> Morton's toe. He made her legs go all the way around. <laughs> My Morton's toe. You are a person that would meet a clockmaker, though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in your life is so Lizzie. That's why I don't think Lizzie. you should ever be embarrassed by mm. anything. Well, so like I met him and then he came to my show. It was so fun. And then the second night I was at my show and I was like, he's probably not going to show up. So I'm going to go on stage and go, Portland, anything can happen. I made love to a clockmaker last night. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can't wait to say that. And then he walked in. So I really quick ran up to him and I go, do you care if I say I was with a clockmaker? He's like, no, that's fine. He was probably like, that's yeah. right. He yeah. came in wearing a <laughs> clock. It was Flavor Flav. It was Flav. Guys, it was Flavor Flav. <laughs> he came in wearing a clock. <laughs> so, yeah. And... It's cute. Life, life happens. It's the fun time, to have- as time goes on, the hairspring of my soul. These are all is hairspring. The is that what you call the clump of hair you have in here, <laughs> <laughs> or the spring you were born on? <laughs> as the pendulum swings, guys. Um, mm. Comment below if you've ever yes. had a, a rendezvous. If you've with had a rendezvous like with someone you met in an elevator, it was so fun, and he was lovely. My airplane guy died. I had an airplane guy. Were you, died. was it Sully? <laughs> it was Denzel, who, the guy Denzel Washington played, he died of a fentanyl overdose. <laughs> Wait, the airplane guy did? For real? I, maybe, actually he might have. I don't know what he died from. Oh. I felt like he had blocked me, because I would tell, I would read a sex that he wrote me on stage, and he blocked me. I think he was mad at me for reading it, but it was so funny and so horrible, and we just were not like a match. But we were friends for a while. So he was mad. Sorry, say that again. So I he, think he was mad that I was like telling, I was like reading this, the sext that he sent me on right. stage and just completely destroying him because it was so, it was so bad. Right. I actually I almost know. want to read it. I've had that before. And a part of me is like, yeah, do you have Let it? Let me find it. I mean, he's it's not, he's not to watching find. now. It might be too hard to find, but. He's watching from. <laughs> but he. <laughs> From his airplane in heaven. <laughs> Hello down there. I hear you reading my sex. I like you thinking that he was the... He um, crashes into a... That he was the pilot. <laughs> and not just a guy in a middle seat. <laughs> not just a guy with a pierced cheek in a middle seat. He has a pierced oh, cheek. Pierce. It must have been fentanyl, right? It's like, come on. Wait, did he really have a pierced cheek? He had a pierced cheek. Like in the dimple? Like for extension? No, here. Oh. Next to his oh. eye. Oh. That's hot, what though. you consider the cheek. Interesting. <laughs> it's more of the cheekbone area but yeah he oh passed away God. but i i felt like and i what was the earring was it a freckle he's like was, i've always wanted freckles it was like one of these things okay and there you're like i was doing a joke <laughs> i know what it was it was a hoop imagine it was a hoop <laughs> it goes through his ear joke. so the cockroaches can give birth it's easier to <laughs> oh my god yeah i should get this pierced with like a cock of with like a venom for it, so they can't. Yeah. With a cockroach. Did you lose faith in your joke just now? What happened? I don't know what I. You said. just started zoning down. I just, I just, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just quit. My pocket. <laughs> Let's just say the clock struck midnight pretty fast. <laughs> Do you still talk to him time from time to time? From time to time, we send a text from time to time. No, it's exciting. I think it's cool to like meet a yes, random person. It is really fun. And I, you know, I, I'm not like, I'm not like, anyway. I, I don't and you have a decision it. though, but you have, you kind mm. of like, it's fun to see where things go. And I like, yes, I like the idea of being like open to whatever. Every person. Not now, Todd. I, I love my bow. <laughs> I love the idea of being open and being able to screw whoever I want to. Well, it's like Todd. Every elevator I walk in, I <laughs> unbutton my. It's hard when like, it's hard when you're. <laughs> Like, I like I found my person. I have no more. Right. I'm. I have no interest in. You're on. You got. You got off at the lobby. This is my guy. Yes, yeah. I. I got off at the parking. lobby of love. I got off at parking. I got off at parking. I said we're getting out of this joint. Lower level. Lower level parking. Parking one. Oh my um, God, I'm having memories of even parking with oh you. Oh my God, I mean, it was we so met fun. So many nice people in the parking. How nice lot. was the parking lot <laughs> attendant? Lovely. Do you remember he cleaned my car out? 
Oh my God, that's right. Yeah, he stole a lot of cash too. Yeah. Coming back for you. No, I was like, I wanted that dirty tampon. <laughs> What do you mean he threw away my blood tampon? That's what I hang from my uh <laughs> from my That's mirror. where your freshener is my bloody tampon. Big Pam Brennan. Big Pam Brennan, NYC. <laughs> this is all Insane. inside jokes. <laughs> okay, so you found your lower level. So you don't need to get on the elevator. No, but I life. still Todd has to listen to me because I'm a podcaster. Mm -hmm. Like he just has to listen to me tell like stories of being fingered on airplanes. Right. He just has to. Do you care about? I don't care about. That. Do you care about? Do you care about? <laughs> Do you feel locked in the bathroom emotionally? You open with a traumatic event. <laughs> you open with caribou? <laughs> the minute the mics go off, how dare you? I was locked in that bath. You guys are never like, going to uh, see this episode. We were trapped underground. <laughs> oh my God. This, in the sub That's submersive? Me. And what? The people that exploded in the submarine? Oh. I wasn't thinking of that. Yeah, that's what it, that was like for me. I could have something bad could happen. Oh my there. god, you were trying to have solve a Rubik's a cube. Are you good at the Rubik's cube? I feel like that's something you might be good at. Wow, you know what? I haven't laid hands on one in quite some time. Not I'm not gonna, I I'm feel not like that was kick good it out of activity. Bed. Yeah, maybe. There was something I was doing like that for a while. It wasn't clump of you hair. You definitely have ADD if you have like. Yeah, yeah. I, ha I need tactile yeah, things. I yeah, I love a yeah. tactile thing. Yeah, that's why I like two dots. I'm like dun 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 square dun dun dun. Yeah, square. it's so easy. Yeah. Not, not to. I want to get into you. three dots, four dots. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not my first time talking about two dots. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was a big part of my too big a part of my life. And I was like, I you were dating, dating two dots. I was your boyfriend <laughs> over the pandemic. It was. Do you know I actually went on the apps in New Mexico? The dating scene there is like yes, I, I guys wearing those uh, what are those sunglasses called that look like Oakley? Yeah, it was guys in Oakleys with like pit bulls, like. Want to come over for a sausage? It's really <laughs> weird like... to talk about all of my ex boyfriends like that. No, I it's used like to like rainbow color, like on hogs, and like my name's Jed. I have a theory about New they... Mexico, which maybe is not that yes. genre of guy, but there's. I yeah. went to a rave there, and my theory is that people are less under the the gaze of others in Santa mm. Fe. They're not like it's not like a. Like you don't know right. any influencers that live in Santa Fe. So there's part half is that guy. The other half is right. guys who shop at Chico's. Right. Yes. <laughs> guys who have little tiny mirrors sewn onto their shirts. They're very like, it's like, <laughs> You're like guys crinkly. are girly there and girls are like full beard, like yeah. grown out mustache. Yeah. Like it's like. There, and not everyone, but, yeah. but like a majority. And I'm like, is that like what There's... we are when we're not under the gaze of others? Mm. When we're not thinking of like other people mm. looking at us, are we all just like mm. well, more that's masculine like... and like men are more feminine? I was like that during COVID, I think. Were you I wearing like Carhartts? <laughs> yeah, I was driving around trying to find George R.R. R. Martin's house. <laughs> I really was. I was like, it's got to be one of these. Because I found out. I can find it, I bet. Well, I heard that he submitted a plan to the city that they were like, absolutely not. He was like, I want to put spires on my house. He wanted to make like a castle in Santa Fe. And they said no. No, because they have an ordinance yeah. where you have to keep it low so you can see the sunset and yeah, see the mountains. Yeah, it's for short, land for short kings. <laughs> <laughs> short kings? We want to see you in Santa Rise Fe. We up. want you complaining, okay? <laughs> I love Santa Fe so much. I I get like emotional thinking about it. It mm -hmm. feels like I I felt that way about um, New York as well. But I feel like Santa Fe. I like I I love it. Like I love it. It's like oh yes. Oh okay. Well, Sorry. Try, let's try to break too tonight. Oh my God, <laughs> we're true. going and well, going. we're cutting part of it. Well, are we? <laughs> oh, was like, there was something earlier that, was that I go cut. cut. Oh, I have to tell you there what happened minute, to me today. Yeah, tell me. Oh, but anyway, I just want to say, so you loving Santa Fe and moving there was like very, mm. it felt more, we've, I felt more connected to you. Right. It's I love that. It's just such a special, oh my God. My it just, I just was like, where could I go? Where could I go that would actually make me happy right now? And it was the only place that came to mind. And my therapist goes, then go. I said, really? And he said, yeah, just do it. So I put all my stuff. He was just he done He became with a you. Nike commercial. He never talked to you again. <laughs> Look, go, get off the thing. Go now. Please go. My He's college like, professors just say, go do stand up. Wow. They want to be out of their class. Really? I've been thinking about this a lot too. It's like, it was funny to be Did like. Did you want to do stand up at that time? No. But I was just funny in class. I was like, ooh, attention, mm. maybe funny. 
But being funny in high school is cool. Everyone's like trying to avoid. People in college are like want to learn. So the class mm. con in college, people were not a fan. In in college, college. when I was like interrupting with jokes, they're like, okay, right. My teachers liked me though. I'm sorry, my. I eyelash. feel like you'd be fun to have in class. Annie, I feel that you'd be a delight to have in class. I had this one teacher that used to make fun of me because I was a Quaker in my social sciences. And he would, he was like, I would come in eating like sunflower seeds. He goes, look at the little Quaker bird eating her sunflower seeds. They yeah. should have burned you guys at the stake, shouldn't they? <gasps> it was so funny. No, oh it was so good. Oh my God. They would like roast Did you get tox too much on your report card? I can tox see you as a tox too much. I was a tox to me. I don't remember what was. I what didn't go to a school that I was, was a toxic masculinity. They wrote. Like, I didn't go to a school. <laughs> tox. I was my. I didn't go to a school where they gave us really report cards. My high school was. You know, they said she talks too much to the cops because we are <gasps> in court. <laughs> oh my god. That's yeah. So funny. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, Annabelle. Juicy. Delicious. Like I want to go to Philadelphia with you. I hate Philadelphia. I mean, I, I love Philadelphia. <laughs> You I want to. I want like to transi- I want to transform my relationship to Philadelphia. I need to do that with Minnesota too. I never go back. Sometimes yeah. it's just I don't want to go home. I like, like I just, seeing. I do like seeing my family, which is separate from you. Is different yeah. from you, but like, I just don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't see families. What if I thought that was like a cool thing? I. Like, what, what was that crazy show where you just press her luck? They, press her luck. It's like don't it's say a just. Machine. Don't say just about my favorite show. Elizabeth Banks, I'm coming Let's for you. Let's just say I was you. not impressed. My, <laughs> my luck. <laughs> I was like, you, you're just pressing a button. You need to come to Vegas with us. Y- you are the weakest link. Do you remember that show? Yes, I do. We, my friend Stephen and I just remembered it. I kind of look like that one. <laughs> if you had short hair. I do want to go to Vegas with you. Vegas is fun, but you have to come when you feel flush with money and you feel abundant because I'm not bringing you mean that I flush my money down the toilet because that's what I do yes I just bought a label maker no we went we went gambling with his his um his like in-laws his brother's in-laws and I was literally like you guys need to back away they were saying such crazy things they were like they're like whoa we're just throwing him I'm like your attitude is tanking the vibes I need you to step away from the um, South Park machine right now. We just got Cartman and we're going to win. We just got... Do you know <laughs> once they had to send a cooler over because I was winning? Really? I was rolling, rolling. And someone was like, they just sent a cooler. And then I walked. I they love when you do energy. that. You always like and then to a wall. And then you secret time to a wall. I love. We get into that with any disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my bloody damn bong. <laughs> It's our air freshener, okay? It's not a bloody tampon. <laughs> but I also, the last time I was in Vegas, I haven't been there in so long. Uh, I saw Gallagher. And then you stole his outfit. I, I stole his. I seriously do look like <laughs> You look like a lot. Of, you're an homage to a lot of people. You're Bruce Valanche, mm. too, with the glasses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Bruce. Where is, is he Is Bruce been? still with? Do you know him? No, I've never oh, met Bruce. I- do you? Know. That's oh. the most believable thing I could have. Where is Bruce? Where's the ad? Him and Where Aunt are. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. Wait, didn't we have Can rumors? We, I want to find out where Aunt is because he was, he was a Let's good judge. Aunt. Look up Aunt. Very popular uh, personality. Where is it? Look up Aunt Comedian 2023. He seems like he may have. Um, Aunt Comedian? Yeah. Ho- last comic standing. If it was just an ant with a microphone, I'd die. <laughs> I am curious. Yeah, that was. This is how I found the guy that figured me down. Never, no. Oh, Always yeah. Always looking that's so he cute. He looks adorable, he actually. He's definitely got zoom whitening. Check out his. I'm also yeah. noticing everyone has gotten a lower face. He His teeth look great. And he looks. That's so not happy. now. This is so young. Uh, young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these, yeah, these might be old pictures, actually. Look at his IMDb. Um. Do you think Did he you ever was hear the Pink Panther hanging? joke? Dead ant, dead ant. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a well, Sorry. <laughs> I just throw a street joke on here. I thought that was one um, of yours. <laughs> <laughs> What's his last okay, credit? Can we set a New Year's resolution while we're here? Yes. Like before we leave? Because I actually feel very much in need of one. Okay, let's hear don't it. Don't get locked in a caribou. 
That's more of a goal. <laughs> There's a difference. I want to get your ass There's locked out again. Do you have a Do you have a New Year's resolution? I don't really know what mine should be this year. Okay, mine you can steal if you want. Okay. I want to trust my intuition and I want oh, to right. manifest in a broad way and stop worrying about tiny little things. No, you just said broad way. Broad way. <laughs> Oops. I'm in Chicago. Um, okay. That's what I want. Manifest in a broad way. Like I, I feel that. like I've been being too specific and then Ooh. I get like anxious about it. Yeah. A- tiny thing but if i'm manifesting a larger abundance and a joy than a, and a feeling mm-hmm. then all of those little things fall into place and i don't i'm like not nitpicking no that isn't they talk about that in the book the power of receiving mm. um she says there's a little circle which is how you see your life and the things in it and then there's the big circle which yeah. is the things you don't see and being aware or yeah. being like aware that mm-hmm. i'm not aware of how big like families <laughs> Oh, she gets very <laughs> triggered. Stopped. In the family planning section, she gets very triggered. I'm very triggered. Um, but I wanted to tell you what we got um, yes, today. Please. Today was a very big day on Annie Wood. <gasps> Todd and I, okay, so three <gasps> days ago, we went to Alan's Pets, our favorite pet store. And when we were waiting in line, they have all of these snakes. So when they get the baby snakes, they keep them in these like kind of smaller containers. And then when they get bigger, they move them into the bigger tanks just because they don't have that much space. Okay. So once they're circumcised, they go Once to the they're nest. circumcised. And the thing is, people want the circumcised snakes. <laughs> Nobody wants an uncircumcised snake. <laughs> That's actually, but I... People I, don't like the baby snakes because they're disagree. not... You have to <laughs> wait for the... <laughs> <laughs> I like an anteater myself. I'm, I'm, I'm making stand. Todd pull his circumcision okay, back on. out. We hang a cinder oh. block on it for, um, we, we do like, we add a Can minute you each rever- week. You can't reverse that though. Men try to reverse them. They're very really? mad. Men are very mad at their moms. That's how mad they are at their moms, that they're even mad at a circumcision. Wow. Do you feel that anger? No. Tell her. Tell her. I I got a botch this circumcision. This is a circumcision. So Todd, I had to get it redone when I was like 15. Todd is a victim of <laughs> circumcisions and not just circumstances. Oh my God. So you have yeah. like a Joan Rivers. It was yeah, you a got a face mess. Up. You could still get a little more of a lift. May she rest in peace. <laughs> you need some Botox on the ridge. I just think of her, because didn't she have to get two? There was something she had to get. Okay. A black eye. She was a mouthy one. <laughs> That's a Wait, Matt so Reif. I'm got, trying to get canceled. you got it done twice? Well. He got the original. Yeah. When I was a baby, they did it, but they fucked it up. And then... I had to get he it. He had fixed. almost like a <laughs> Prince Albert. They kind of gave him like a what is that? Like, like where a they ring? left a oh. yeah, that's a the cock or the piercings. But he like the like it was still connected in area, so there was like a little tunnel. Which an ant could crawl through. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, it was a nightmare. But we have new additions to the family, new all- additions to the family, <laughs> new additions to the family. It is really such a violent act. Oh my God, when I got my labiaplasty, I, they had to give it to me when I was 15 again. <laughs> oh my God. Labiaplasty. Do you know anyone who's gotten it? I don't, but I mm-hmm. bet you I do. I, do. I know one. Really? Yeah. I wait to talk off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she, she had like a reason that she needed it, but it's, it's, yeah, it's we all have I mean, a I think it's, pr- it's probably pretty common. Yeah. I just think, yeah. If if you get one surgery, you're getting all the surgeries, I think, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. If you break that barrier, mm-hmm. lower facelifts. I know someone who got horn implants. <laughs> he wants us to stop. Okay. Um, but I'm going to finish the story okay. and then we'll yes. end it because I could do this forever. I know, me too. I could do this forever. Okay, so we go to Alan's Pets the other day. They're in the little container that the baby snakes. People don't want the baby snakes because it just... They're, they can get them pre-trained when they're already big and cool looking, you know? But so, but we're doing baby snakes. We're training them as children to love us, to be easy to handle. <laughs> training them. We're training them. We are. We're, we're, what we did with Randy is a miracle and we're going to do more miracles. But so in the absence of our dead frog, we decided we need to get another reptile. I didn't realize it was going to be two reptiles. Mm-hmm. I fell in love with a snake. We were in line. He was trying to get out of his, his his thing and I said what is and they go well that's when they're hungry and also like it's he's getting a little too big for his we're probably gonna have to move him soon he's getting too big for his his enclosure and I go okay he's an albino pine snake 
He's so cute. The pine snakes, uh, the so northern. Like he was, I'm seeing he's ready to feature. <laughs> <laughs> but the nor the he was growing out of his place <laughs> in comedy. But he was he the northern pine snakes are from Orange. It's Ocean City, Ocean County, sorry, which is near Todd. That's where Todd's from. So he's our people. He's our Jersey boy. He's albino. He's got like pink scales. He was just looking at me. He wanted out. He wanted a new home. So we came back. Todd helped me make an enclosure for him. Or blood. And or he wanted blood. <laughs> he maybe he's vicious. They said he's not, but he's so cute. Aww. I was playing with him all day. He went, we made him an enclosure and now he's buried in soil and I want to dig him out. I love it so you much. Didn't, what about the guy that? Oh we my saw god! Today? So while we're there and I'm playing with him, this um, this gentleman and his wife are like, "Oh my god, we love your snake." The guy goes, "Oh, I love that snake. If I knew the snake was here, I would have gotten it." And I go, "Oh, too bad." I'm like, "Everybody loves my snake. We're vlogging, okay? But everybody loves my snake." And trust me, we're vlogging. <laughs> we're vlogging it. I go, the <laughs> guy's know. talking. I go, "Do you mind being on the vlog?" He goes, "Actually, I don't. I'm actually a famous playwright <gasps> or a famous screenwriter." Oh. Screen no, writer, sorry. Me. I know. I don't care about <laughs> plays. I don't care about plays. She's a play person. I'm a movie person. Um, can you tell by our outfits, actually? <laughs> but so I so I he goes, I'm a I'm a screen famous screenwriter. And so he's playing mm. with the snake. I go, what'd you write? He goes, Forrest Gump. And I go, Giga. Okay. And Todd goes, she's a famous comedian. And, he, and they asked my name, he goes, oh, I've heard of you. He goes, yeah, I'm really good friends with Judd Apatow. I'm really good friends with, and we start name dropping to each other. We go on a name drop off. I go, oh, um, he goes, Billy Crystal. I go, oh, I tested for a show with Billy Crystal. You're like, you I know? did crystal math. I go, <laughs> I go I bought, I'm buying crystals. But I go, I go, oh, yeah, Larry Charles. And he goes, oh, dear friend of mine. I go, oh, I worked with Sasha. We're like, we literally want a name drop off. Wow. Um, and then I go, well, maybe we should write a movie about snakes. And then he was gone. But we've I got him. <laughs> What's his name, Todd? Eric Roth. Eric Roth. Look him up. Eric, yes, we Dune. love you. We love Eric. I can't wait for our future <laughs> projects. Can't wait to meet him in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I told him we should name the snake Jenny, and he liked it. But oh. I think I'm going to keep the name oh. Tom. Tom. Tom Hanks. After Tom. The, oh, yeah. Tom. Tom. Okay. Because it's a, do you know the gender of the snake? We don't know, but I think it's funny to have well, a girl named Tom. Do you have any females in there? Don't be like. I'm just saying. Oh my god! What is this? this is a lineup. Lineup. You're like, lineup. This what is, is this? Lineup. Are you mad about the lineup at the comedy about store? Laugh. Only I, one. I want to see. I want to see a snake flyer where they're dangling a high heel and one hand <laughs> holding a martini and the other. <laughs> like snakes do laugh. How many hands do you think they have? They have a mouth and a tail. Yeah, Lizzie. What would they be wearing? One of Sarah Jessica Parker's hats. Because remember, in one of your berets, like just your outfit. <laughs> She has so many hats. Which actor to be? And she was like, I knew I was meant to wear the hat. Did you see that? Where she was like, didn't we watch the documentary, the behind the scenes, where she's like, he didn't want me to wear the hat. And I knew the scene yes, required the yes. hat. And Where to find yeah. out that she was responsible for the hats, it's like, yeah. give her all those EP credits. <laughs> give her every executive producer credit. Before I was like, she okay. I didn't like truly wearing all the hats. Before I was like, when the star is the EP, I'm like, what's going on here? But I went, whoa. Right. You made the decision on the hat. Give her all the money. Move over, Darren Star. I have a, we have a new star in town. hat non-monogamous. <laughs> <laughs> She's an ENH. But I, my intuition brought mm. me to a cool Hollywood connection. And I want to follow my intuition. My go my intuitive walks. <laughs> my goal, release snakes in his home. <laughs> I'm going to give him my snake. That's my follow. <laughs> I'm giving him my snake. <laughs> Your calling card is like, it's how people know you're there is you just leave a snake in the room. You leave a, a meeting with been here. I spray office. with my perfume and a snake. <laughs> Yours is just like a a, um, a roach, like doing like um, Lamaze. Um, it's a juggling ball, <laughs> a unicycle. A living unicycle. <laughs> There's like a doctor roach delivering the babies. <laughs> you just it have feels ER good to talk about head. it because I had shame about it because I was like, this is a reflection on me, and you know, like I thought, like I what drew was the it reflection? to me, like that I'm a. You are 100% magnetically drawing animals to you. It is you. Right. It's a reflection of you, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, in manifestation, when you like, they always say like, the universe doesn't know if you're saying yes or no to something. So if you're going, I really don't want animals oh. to be walking up to me and, and speaking my language to me, then the universe sends that to you. When I was at summer camp. Tell me. I 
played the drum. I thought there was a drum pad on the ground. Do you know what that is? Like a Yeah, but that was thing. the bass, first bass. I walked up to it. Second bass? This could look like drum pads. <laughs> kind of. It was a bat on the ground, a dead bat. And I almost picked it up. <laughs> I thought it was a rubber drum pad. Well, you pad. cursed yourself. And that's how the C word started. And Lizzie is responsible for all of the <laughs> elderly <word>. deaths. <laughs> what? You know, you have to bleep that. We can't talk about it. Oh, right, right, right. We have okay. to bleep Big every C time. With the CR. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're right. No, the not C word. No, that's the C word. It's CR. Listen, these two C words got to go. She's got a show. And I got to wrap this up. I have to have C word. <laughs> She has that C word and I, my fiance is about to break up with me. I can't believe it. So my resolution is to get to know these reptiles a little bit. (laughs) I know we wanted to bring the snake up, but the snake is, we also got an Aki monitor that's so cute. We haven't named it yet. So comment below what you think we should name the Aki monitor. Comment, like, subscribe, click the bell. Come see us in Denver. Yes, come to Denver, get a reading with me over Zoom. Get a reading over Zoom, not in Denver, because she's busy. In Denver. And And what's um, your website? LizzieCooperman.com. I'm starting a new tarot one, Tarot RX. If you don't, if it's so we don't know what's going to be up. So you got to check both. Yeah, go to my, my, the link in my Instagram bio. Well, you know, guys, I'm I'm no stranger to a link tree. Go to Instagram. Go to Instagram. Um, Buy my pudding. I sell pudding. <laughs> she has a lot of elderly audience. She sells soft foods. <laughs> That's true, actually. I remember showing you the show I did where there was like an old man like this asleep in the crowd. <laughs> like I walked out on stage to this like taping. It was all senior What citizens. if he was passed away? He fell. Gareth had someone, Gareth Reynolds had a guy have a heart attack <laughs> in the audience. All right, we have to go. Okay. We Our lo- audience love is you. passing away. We Mwah. love you guys. We love Lizzie you. Cooperman, my Thank queen. Thank you. I love you. 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 We really do. We love each other. It's the meat and potatoes. Welcome to Anywood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies. Yeah. Welcome to Anywood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies. I'm gonna fire Oscar. I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky, and Randy is living proper. Protector of the sick, she never let her fishes die. Never known to tell a lie, she even fixed Todd's eyes. Shout out to the slugs, shout out Woody's too. Shout out Esty and Kalila and the Annie Wood crew. Cause this is Annie Wood, you know that this is how I'm living. Real and never pretending shit, you know that it's a gift. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of the Sipa Nannies.